Hey guys, Mocking Macboard here. Uh, I was requested to do the deck profile of the Heretic Ruler uh, deck that I was using in that duel against the Dark Worlds, which I OTK'd, so here's the deck profile for you guys. Uh, I do own this deck in real life, so it's really nice to be able to actually have this stuff. But uh, we have one Blazo Dragon, level 8, normal type Dragon, easy to get out, make rank 8 plays with it, or go for Azure Eyes. We have a uh, double Wattail Dragon, it's one of our main main normal type dragons and we absolutely have to have this otherwise this deck just like dies. Same with uh, these flammable guards. Uh, I love the flammable guards just because basically you can summon these from the deck and their tuners and that's what makes all your uh, plays with your dragon rulers. Uh, we have one red eyes darkness little dragon. Honestly I thought about opting out this guy because I almost never use him but uh, in, the, in the OTK uh, I was actually able to use him because I drew him, but if you don't draw him, he's useless, like, at all. Uh, we have one of each of the rulers, pretty standard, uh, three Sus, three Tefmits, one Nemphit, and three Esset. Uh, when you sideboard, you pretty much, I mean, when you side deck, I'll kind of, like, explain it, but, uh, to, to basically start it off, you will just special summon Tefmit, then special summon Su by tributing Tefmit, and then just grab your lot tail and play from there, you can either use this White Elephant's Gift to send to the graveyard, try to get more pluses, and try to go in as far as you can. If you know that you can go in on it, then you will use Elephant's Gift and try to well, and try to just keep playing in. If you have, like, Silver Cry or something, just to bring back that Wattail to keep going to that OTK. But if you don't, well, then you're going to have a bit of a hard time. Or, like, if you if you happen to have another Heretic in one, one hand, then just completely go in on that uh, White Elephant's Gift. Uh... Asset can copy the level of a normal type dragon, so you can make it become what? You can make it uh, copy what tail dragon, so you can still go with uh, your place with that. Uh, Three Dragonity Corsesca, not really important, but it's there because it's a dragon and it's also a level 1 tuner, but it's not the main one we use. It's just there for like discard fodder or banishment for uh, our dragon lords. Uh, and it's also a target for a uh, one for one. So if you have to one for one out a watch from her hand or blue from her hand to uh, pull out to your Cresca, we can do that too. Uh, we have two white elephants gift. Uh, just send face up uh, normal monsters to the graveyard, draw two cards. Uh, three high seal of complication. Absolutely must have these. Can't do anything with those. Uh, if you don't have those, you're gonna have a bit of a slow game. So I mean, if you if you draw into this, you can set yourself up for game significantly faster than what you have if you have Tefnut. Grab Su if you have Su. If you don't have Tefnut, then grab Tefnut. Uh, three being Peter Giant Dragon, just nuke the back row. Uh, very important. Uh, in, like, it's very important for that. Uh, Cards of Consonants is pretty much necessary. Well, it's not necessary, but this is a really nice use for card. Um, two Dragon Shrine. Uh, dump out Blue Eyes, then dump out Blaster or Tempest, depending on which one you have in your hand. Uh, two MSTs and two Silver's Cry. Uh, I'm just going to swap one thing out on the ex on the extra, because this would be more practical to have that on the deck, on set deck. Uh, so for the extra, we have Azure Eyes, Crimson Blader, Scrap Dragon, Colossal Fighter, Stardust Dragon, and start a spark dragon. We have Black Rose Dragon and Guy Knight the Force of Earth. We all can we can make these and we can pretty much make Gaia or Black Rose if we need to. Uh, but we can end up going like really negative if we do. So it's like one of those things where it's like we like going for it but we don't always want to. Uh, for the XYZs we have Sun Dragon just to keep the plays going. I mean, if we get Sun Dragon and still have uh, Heretics in hand, we can just keep the plays on going. Um, two Felground Divine Dragon Knights. Uh, one Draco Sack. One Gaia Dragon. One Number 11 Big Eye. And a Heretic Dragon King of Autumn. The Big Eye and the Draco Sack are for the late game when you, you know, like if your OTK doesn't get to go through and you don't have a lot of options and you can go for Draco Sack or Big Eye and just make plays off from there. Uh, then we have, uh, on our side deck, the newly added Dark Hole, uh, just to, like, get over things like Ophion or Kinsen Blader, 
or something like that, just to, uh, just to kind of get over it and kill it, if need be, because, uh, Ophion is a big, credible threat to this, I mean, once it has no materials, I mean, you're pretty much safe, but getting it off the field, making it fun with their resources is pretty good. Uh, yeah. Start with the on. Uh, we have cited three upstart goblin just because this guy is good and I mean really good uh, maybe it allows us to draw but I just thought of something extremely stupid and I actually do have these I have a crap ton of them uh, but, but we'll actually throw in consecrated lights because I mean since Ophion is our greatest threat we don't want uh, evil swamp summoning it, or like we like if we face like dark bolts or something, and we need to side out. You know, we can go for consecrated light. No dark monsters can be summoned, so can kind of uh, keep track of our opponents. And I mean, nothing really of our. I mean, the, only, the only monster that we can go for that is dark is like colossal fighter, red MD, which we don't really go for anyway. Everything else is different. I mean, number eleven big guy, but consecrated light is so easy to get over. So, I mean, we play against. You know, evil swarms, throw these in. Uh, three twister, just get rid of back row. Good goblin housekeeping, put back our normal type dragons and just get some draw power if need be. Uh, three traps done, because air force and stuff like that just GG us. And two heretic seal from the ashes. Basically just, uh, in, in, against decks that are gonna be decks that stop us from decaying, we'd like to, uh, we'd like to have our outs in our ways to get around that so we'll actually play it as a slower pace that game instead of just like going all in so in the, pretty much uh, we, depending on what you play against like if you're playing up against a deck that stalls off a lot uh, you really could um, swap out some cards like you can swap out Nymphit, Renus Darkness, Metal Dragon throw in uh, Twisters, a good Goblin Housekeeping or something like that, Trap Heavy decks, just go all in, Trap Stun a lot of, uh, lot of different stuff but anyways guys that's the deck uh, I hope you guys enjoy this deck as much as I do. It works really well and it's really strong. So, I hope you enjoy and peace out.